Hi everyone, I'm Grace. Uh, so I'm quarantined obviously, so it's been great fun and I love TV. So I decided I would vlog about the TV shows I watch. Uh, and the two TV shows I'm going to vlog about today is Survivor and The Challenge on MTV. So the first one I'll start out with Survivor. I've watched Survivor since uh, for, for 20 years now. So all uh, 40 seasons of it. I've even gone back and looked at some Survivor ones. So I'm a big Survivor fan. Um, so it's been a crazy season. So if no one's watched it so far, what's going on is, is it's season 40. So a big one and it's called um, Wars of Winners. Um, and what it is, is they've taken, uh, 20, um, survivors that have won in the past seasons and brought them back to win, um, again. And what this one is, is usually it's a million dollars. Well, this one, it's two million dollars. Um, so, which is exciting. Um, and then, so yeah, so it's like pretty exciting about that. Um, which you have the old school or the new school people. Uh, it's kind of old school, new school versus season this year. Um, obviously, the old school have gone out, sadly, and I liked it. It was like Boston Rob, Amber, uh, Tyson, um, Wu, a uh, couple of those people. Uh, Parvati, sorry, I'm Parvati, um, which... I'm, I like them a lot more than the new school, but uh, it's part of the game. So what happened on uh, this episode was, um, so they actually, it was a family um, when on like, uh, it's usually later on like day 30 or so that uh, they have the family challenge come in. And this time, uh, they did it a little early because it's day 24, I believe now. So, I loved how they let everyone, um, be able to see their family. And it's usually just one person. This time, um, for the first time ever, they had their whole family. So, you got to see their kids, uh, their husbands. Um, and if they didn't have kids or husbands, it was either a sister or just a husband come, um, or uh, a family member, um, dad came, or a couple of dads came also. And it was just nice to be able to see the actual family of the, of the people who've won. Um, and usually there's a challenge and only like two or three people get to spend more time with their uh, loved one, or, fa or in this case family. But they changed it all and uh, totally let everyone have the day with them, which is very nice, um, I think. And I liked it a lot, um, thanks to British Airways, which they said that, uh, that they paid for it, so which was nice. Um, so, yeah, so that was a change, a twist. Um, and now, oh, I forgot to mention, sorry, that... In this season, which we've never seen ever, is these fire tokens, which people can, you get one fire token from the beginning of every, uh, from the beginning of it, and then if you get voted off, you have to give your fire token to someone, and uh, that's still left in the game. Um, and you can get uh, fire tokens by winning um, challenges, um, or what you know different things like that so um and then you can use these fire tokens for a jar for one fire token you can use it for a jar of pe uh, peanut butter or you can um not you know use these uh you can just use your tokens for a hidden muni idol i believe it's three of them for a hidden muni idol or to get an advantage in a um uh, get advantage in, um, a challenge, or a, um, yeah, challenge. So, um, so it's kind of interesting to see how people are using it, um, and so, 
tribal council upon. So this is where you vote off someone. Um, and people have started trading their fire tokens for different things. Because um, they do have a, a eggs of extinction this season where the people who get voted off will go over there over to egg of extinction and eventually they may be able to have a chance to get in or they may not. It just depends on um, their challenge and if they win or not. Um, so like uh, so yeah. So uh, at over at eggs of extinction, they um, are doing little challenges to try to get um, advantages, but so the advantages don't work on eggs of extinction. So they only work in the game of Survivor. So they would pick a random person um, to try to get their fire tokens uh, for them to be able to use later on. Like for one, they traded, they gave Sarah um, a still a vote. Um, they gave Jeremy to be able to leave, uh, leave the, uh, tribal, um, council right before the vote, go back to camp, and he can't vote, he can't, uh, be voted out, um, and he can't vote, he can't be voted out, well, uh, so, which is, you know, pretty good advantage, and then also, they gave, and then Kim found a hidden immunity idol. Um, they gave, they've given some of humanity idols all out too. So, the tribal council uh, this week was crazy. People were whispering back and forth before even, uh, people were uh, whispering back and forth, um, trying to decide who to vote off. So, Going into tribal council, you see a little bit of it. Uh, they thought they were either going to vote out Jeremy or Kim, I believe, was the other person. Um, I could have this wrong, and if I do, please let me know. Sorry. Yeah, this is my first time trying this, so if I have things wrong, please let me know, and I'll try to get better at it. Anyway, so let's get back to it. So people are starting to talk back and forth while Jeff, which is the host, is talking, um, and it just goes crazy. Um, so back and forth of who we should decide and everything in between. Um, finally, Jeff's like, okay, y'all ready to vote? And uh, they all say yes. And then Sarah and Jeremy both go, hold on, Jeff. So, which we know, from previous episodes that Jeremy has the, um, that he can leave travel cancel right before the vote. No one can vote him off. And Sarah has still a vote and she has two votes. Um, so they both go Jeff and then it just be quiet for a while. So neither of them wanted to go first. Um, because they don't know what they have, and they're on opposite uh, uh, alliances. So they have no idea what's going on. Um, and so then, finally, pretty much Jeremy goes and says, I want to leave travel canceled. So he leaves. So he was supposed to be w one of the people to vote out. So at this point, everyone's like, what do we do? Like, oh my god, this is crazy. So... It, the alliance was five and five, pretty much. So there's ten people left in the game, and it was five and five. Well, Jeremy left, so now it's four to five. Four to five, sorry. Um, so Jeremy left. And so, it, so pretty much what Sophie said was, is how about the five of my alliance get together, figure out who we're going to vote out now. So then... The other four were like, okay, well, we have no idea who is going to be voted out. And the five is, sorry, I should say the five people who are hanging out are Sophie, Ben, Sarah, Tony, and Nick. Um, so they're like, well, we, you know, so they're talking. And then the other four, which is um, Kim... Denise, Tyson, 
and Michelle. So they're the other four left. And they're like, well, I have no idea who I need to vote for or who they're going to vote for. Um, so, so then they all, I guess the five figure out who they, who they're going to vote for. They all sit back down and then just like, okay, you ready to vote? And Sarah says, hold on. And so then she pulls out her um, still a vote and um, still a vote and then get to vote for someone twice. So she decides to still Denise's vote. So that only leaves three votes for them, um, for the other team. And they have six votes now. Um, so, everyone votes, and then, um, at the end, Kim pulls out her idol, so she, she could use it for herself, or she could use it for whoever she wanted to use it for. So, she pulls it out, and she decides she's going to use it for Denise. Denise got two votes. So, which was good, but it turns out there was four votes for Tyson. So, Tyson goes home. So, it was good luck. It was good enough try, but it just didn't work out, sadly. Um, so, he got voted out again because he came back from extinction um, earlier on in the season. So, that was the sad part. Um... For my hope now that is left in the game, I really like Sarah. So I would like Sarah to win or Kim. Um, I like underguard, underdog, underdogs. Um, so those are the two people I'm for rooting for. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so we'll see about that. Uh, it's a very interesting and a very exciting Um season so far. I really like it. Um, these fire tokens are coming into play craziness. Uh, so we'll see. Anyway, so that's what I think about Survivor right now. Um, now let's go on to the challenge. MTV um, does it. And so I, my brother and I, shout out to my brother Nick, we watch it to, or we watch it and then talk about it all the time. Uh, we've been talking about it for years. I've been watching it for years. This is season 34 or 35. I can't remember. Sorry out there um, for not knowing exactly. Um, and what it, the basis of it at first was that it was road, MTV Road Rules and MTV The Real Housewife, The Real How, The Real, The Real World, The Real World. Um, would compete together. And then now that neither of those shows happen anymore, they have changed it. Some of it is still either Road Rules or the uh, Real World of whatever. Um, still compete because they're veterans. They've been doing this for, I don't know, five, ten years plus, whatever. Um, so they're still out there. But now they've taken different um, shows like Big Brother, Survivor, um, Are You the One, who is on MTV. Um, just different shows and throwing them in the mix too now. And always what it is uh, from previous passes is you have to prove yourself. Because if you're a rookie, so which a rookie would be your first year coming on. You have to prove yourself, and so you get thrown into eliminations all the time. Um, and so, I i mean, I like it. I get it that you should prove yourself, but I think you should only prove yourself once and be done. But people get thrown in it all the time, um, like numerous times. So, like this season. So, this is episode three. So, episode one, Jay got thrown into elimination. Um, okay, sorry, I should say, the basis of the show, if you haven't watched it, is you do elimination, or you do a challenge, um, of craziness, and, uh, of a challenge, 
and then they either get teams or individually um and so individually um yeah so you get teams or individually uh it just depends on the challenge um and so they so you do it and then you get usually the winner like a couple times the winner so season so episode one what they did was is they did boards against girls so they had two winners so uh, Rogan and Jenny were the two winners and then they got to pick one other person to be in the tribunal which is made out of three people so they picked Corey um, for the outgo room and then episode two how the tri burner came about was um they were you know groups of three so and whoever won for that team got to be the tribunal br br yeah, sorry i cannot talk tribunal so um yeah so in episode one and then episode three it was individual so there was two winners and then they got to randomly decide one other person um uh, in episode three but anyway going back to episode one so usually in the challenge you do not want to go and then after they sorry I'm trying to tell you the rules first so then after you get the winners uh or the tribunal the group gets together um of whoever is a loser the group gets together and they nominate one person who of all the losers to go into the ring i forget what they call it this year i'm calling i'm gonna call it the ring so elimination round pretty much um and then they do vice for like they switch it off boys girls boys girls so episode one it was boys turns so they did their typical of putting the rookies to go first so the group so the losers of the group chose Jay who was on Survivor something um and he lasted 36 days uh so that's how he got around into this um and so then the tribunal uh gets to pick three people and then they get to interrogate these three people and then out of these three people they pick one person to go against Jay so they pick Ty Jane or something which is another rookie so usually what they do is is they all the vet, vets get together and pick off the rookies um because they want to go to the end um and I mean I think it's fair but at the same time I don't really like it I think they should have a chance a little bit too Jay wins that one so this is episode one Jay wins. So, episode two, nothing really happened other than, um, so the tribunal was, who was it? D, Corey, I don't remember the other person, sorry, it was last week, I don't remember the other person. Um, and D doesn't really like Jen because D used to date Rogan last season and she still has feelings for Rogan and Jen was trying to get with Rogan this year. So D didn't really like that. So she wanted Jen to go into the ring or the elimination um, challenge. And sure enough, uh, Jen goes into it the losing team decides to put her in it and then they put two people up oh episode sorry one thing happened in episode one so episode one normally you don't want to go into the elimination ring because in past relationships you don't or past seasons you don't want to go into the elimination round because you're going to go home and you can't get to the final to win the million dollars um, and there's been a couple people like CT, Rogan, um, Kyle, uh, that 
have never seen a elimination around. Well, CT's seen elimination rounds, but in the past couple seasons, he hasn't. And he's been able to get to the finals. Um, and so, without seeing one. And so, they, they figured out a strategy to make alliances and not have to see one. Well, so this time, this go round, this season, which was the big shocker of uh, episode one, was is the only way you can get to a final is if you have a red skull, and the only way you get to a red, have a red skull is to win elimination round. So episode one, Jay won the elimination round, and so he's the only one so far that's been able to get. The red skull and go to a final so episode two comes around nothing really happened much except i just mentioned the whole d and jen situation so the losing team decided to take put jen in because she's the weakest link which she was i will admit that and so then the girls decided okay i want my skull now because she's the weakest link I want to get in there. I want to beat her. And so I can be in the finals. So Tori asked to get in there. Jenny asked to get in there. And then they put... Oh, who was that? Oh, they put Big T. Which, she she's not a rookie. Because she's been on past seasons. But... She's only been on one other season. So she's halfway rookie, halfway vet, I would say. Um, so, yeah. And so then um, TJ, which is the host, put a big wrench in the thing and said, okay, you're in the tribunal, but if you want to get win your red skull, you can come down and fight elimination round. Well, obviously... You would want to do the whole thing for, um, I would want to fight Jen because, for D at least. I would want to fight her because you have beef. Why don't you just prove yourself and say, yeah, I want to fight her. So then I can say I was better than you, everything in between. Um, but she decides not to. For some odd reason, she decides she doesn't want to. So then she puts Jenny in. I was just like a, and then Jimmy is a, a Jenny is a beast, and she creamed Jen. So it wasn't a, it really wasn't an elimination around at all because, sorry, Jenny or Jen just really sucked at that. Anyway, sorry to say. So yeah, so those are episodes one and two. So episode three comes about. <coughs> excuse me, and it's back to. Um, the boys now. And it was a, you know, do you, uh, the challenge, the, so the challenge was you're on your own again. And you get two winners. And, uh, what it was, what was it? Um, anyway, the, I don't remember the challenge now, sorry. Uh, so, but the winner was CT, um, and Bailey who, which Bailey is on, uh, was on Big Brother. And then Bailey has a fiancé who also was on Big Brother, and that's how they met, and that's how, um, that's how they become, um, fiancés. And his is Big C, uh, Big Swaggy, it was, is his name. Um, and so they have to communicate, CT and, um, Bailey of figuring out who they want to pick. So they decide that they're going to pick. Well, CT was like, "Do I know you really want Swaggy C, which is his her fiance, on there? But I don't want Swaggy C in the tribunal because I want to be the one to be able to say um, if I want to go into elimination or not to get my red skull or not." Um, they talked about it, and she flat out said, I promise you, Swaggy C is not going to say, I want to go in, you can go in. So he says, okay, fine. So he, they picked Swaggy C to be the third person. Um, and so they picked him, 
And so then the losing team decides to go with the, which was a big thing. So Ashley and Johnny Bananas have had beef. Um, it's just that they, they play the pretty much, I think they play pretty much the similar game um, of trying to manipulate people to, into doing what they want to do. Um, and Ash and John, usually the girls are manipulated by, um, Johnny Banana Bananas, um, and do what they say. Well, Ashley has a big mouth, which is great. I love her big mouth. I like her a lot. Um, just says, no, I'm not going to do this. Uh, and so she tries to get the girl, so she rivals around the girls and a couple guys because, uh, to, um, go against Johnny Bananas, which is, he's a big bet. He's been in doing it for, I don't know, five, ten years plus. He's been doing it forever. Every, he's on every season pretty much now. Um, but it turns out that he doesn't, um, they don't get to enough votes. And Jay gets voted back in. Which is crazy. Because he already has a red skull. And if you want to... It, it just doesn't make sense. Because he already has a red skull. And if you want to get a red skull... The only way to get into a final is to get a red skull. Why would you put someone else... Why would you put someone who already has a red skull in there? I didn't, I didn't get it. I think he proved himself. He won his first challenge. He should be off limits, but guys don't think that. Whatever. He, they think that he is the weakest link. Okay. So, I was like, okay, fine. So then, in the tribunal, or so, the tribunal decides to pick Bear. Um, who did Bear... Nelson, because Nelson went crazy in the loser circle um, and just went off on everyone because he didn't like, he didn't like how the thing, what was happening because they all thought he was, they were going to blind sign Johnny Bananas and then when it came down to votes, people aren't voting the way they may have said they were going to. So he got mad. So that's why he got put in. And who was the last one? Rogan. Oh, yeah, and Rogan because, uh, so what happened was is, D, obviously, the whole situation of D. D came back around and D wanted to make Rogan jealous of him and her and Jay. So, D made out with Jay one night in front of Rogan. He gets pissed, so he wants to go into elimination now to beat Jay um, and get his red skull and send him home because of the whole situation of they're together, but they're not together, which is just stupid. Whatever. Um, I'm so over the Rogan D situation. So hopefully this will be the end of this whole thing. I doubt it, though, because it's drama. So, when it came down to the elimination round, it was two prisons, pretty much. And what you did was is you had materials, and you didn't want... You had 20 minutes to put all this stuff, whatever you wanted to do, put all this stuff up there for... So that your opponent could not open the door... And turn on a light. Because if your opponent opened a door. And turned on a light. That meant you were gone. Um, so. Uh, CT. So CT is in the. Um, in the tribunal. And. The host goes. Okay does anyone want to come down. Or are y'all going to pick the three people. Or are y'all going to pick one of the three people. You chose. CT says, I can beat Jay, so I'm going to um, go in. So, we're like, okay, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good elimination round because CT is great at elimination rounds. Like, he 
I think he's not lost very many. Maybe I know of two he's lost. He might have lost more, but I know of two. So he's like the greatest person ever. He's gotten rid of strong competitors, everything in between. So this is going to be crazy. Um, and so the elimination round came about. So they had 20 minutes to put blocks, um, rope, whatever, on their door so the opposite team could not, the opposite player could not destroy it and open up the door and turn on a light. So CT's uh, was, he put a ton of uh, rope, ton of uh, knots and everything in between um, and then put some, I would say, pretty good big bloater box um, down at the bottom so you couldn't get it. And then Jay's, Jay had a totally different round. He His was, he put a ton of blocks, center blocks, everything in between down at the bottom and he put a little ro a little chain and knotted it up up at, um up top so look just looking at it after 20 minutes i i i think ct is gonna win and he's great at it and i hate it for jay i was like dang it i was like he tried his best he just didn't get into it you know so now they're going at it of trying to destroy the other person's time and the whole time, CT was in the lead. And then about the last three minutes, I would say, somehow, Jay comes out of nowhere, gets all the uh, knots out and everything in between, and he opens his door and turns on the light. So he totally just beat CT, the master at eliminations. It was blind. Like, I could not believe what just happened. So, now, Jay has another skull, but it's not going to do anything. So, right now, Jay is the only guy who's allowed to go into elimination. Or, I mean, Jay is the only guy who's allowed to go to a final. That's just crazy. I don't get it. But, it's part of the game. So, next week, we'll see what happens. Um... But yeah, it's just crazy, and I hope Jay has now said, okay, I'm here to reckon with everyone, watch out, and I really hope he doesn't uh, see another elimination round, but we will see. Um, so yeah, so this is my recap of Survivor and the Challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be trying to do this every so often of being quarantined, watching uh, TV shows, recapping of what I thought of it, and um, please leave a comment of what you thought of this, um, suggestions I should watch, and uh, yeah, so I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.